Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, everything seems to be working, so we're going to do a short little recap. Uh, last night there was a request from one of my viewers to play Hypercharged. Uh, it's a game that I've only played once on stream, and he kind of enjoyed it. So he requested that we play it, so tonight we're going to be taking a break from Path of Exile, and tonight we are going to be playing some Hypercharged Unboxed. It's an interesting little first-person shooter, and depending on your age, I don't know if you'll remember the game. Uh, the movie uh, Little Soldiers or Toy Soldiers, what the hell was the movie's name? Um, Toy Soldiers, 1991. It reminds me of that movie. <laughs> That's basically all I can say. You are small little action figures and you are fighting inside bedrooms, shopping centers and interesting locations using... The environment to your advantage which is boxes toys carts and it's basically a tower defense so we'll get the small formalities out of the way welcome to the stream for those of you that are not aware all of my past live streams do get posted on my youtube channel so if you want to you can go show some love and support over there subscribe turn on your notifications the the love would be highly appreciated. I am trying to grow my Twitch channel as well. So I've had some decent support so far already. I've gotten up to the 10 followers. The first uh, milestone that we wanted to hit. So thank you very much for the love and support on that. I am going to reach out to everybody and ask you to help support the channel a bit more. If you've got social media, share it on all the platforms. Let's help get the word out there. Let's help draw some more eyes and attention to the stream. And let's try and grow this little community. Thank you. So we're just going to go to our single and we're just going to continue with the campaign. So after you've completed, completed a mission, like this one for example, you'll see that there are some additions that you have to try and complete. So on the first one we completed two out of the six main objectives, one out of the four side objectives. We got two more collectibles to find and three bobbleheads to find. And I don't know what these rules are. And then there was, so that was the kid's bedroom, that was the bathroom, that was the, um, I want to call it like a storage closet, utility cupboard, supply room, and then we had the, um, the aisle in the, in the shopping center or in the store, and it looks like next is onto an arcade, then onto a garage, attic, some spooky place, kitchen, so there's a couple of levels that we still need to go through. I am probably for this episode going to start off just by doing a recap of one of the older missions. Just to get back into it and then we can progress to the maps that we have not yet done. So those are the objectives. Recover all the credits in the level. Find and place all of the stickers in the level. Destroy 10 mini bots before they enter the room. Destroy the 5 targets hidden around the bedroom. And those are the enemies we can potentially face. These are the buildables. Now, the nice thing is these things do get upgraded later on as you progress. So we start getting spotlights, we start getting turrets, rocket turrets, shockwave turrets, machine gun turrets. So definitely, definitely looking forward to getting some of these. But for now, I've just got the basic bitch stuff. So I've got a building block, a hot uh, box, and a spike trap. Hey, JJ, how are you doing this evening, man? And how's it? Shooty shoot time. Uh, and then you can customize your little character. So as you can see, he comes in a little collectible box <laughs> comes in the collectible box you've got a base that you can choose defense core primal valkyrie and then wraith the rest you unlocked as you basically play not bad thanks that's good to you glad you had a, how was your day was that at least good and then you've got heads these are all just cosmetic little things skins weapons now the nice thing is the weapon is literally just cosmetic Every single character looks exactly this. Uh, every single weapon 
starts off exactly the same it's just the skin that changes in the actual level is where you find the upgrades whether it turns it into a grenade launcher a submachine gun a light machine gun it all happens inside there uh valkyrie looks <laughs> valkyrie looks most like maestro pick that one okay well let's go type this way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Masha is going to be happy with you on that, but fuck it, let's rock it. Okay, so now, question. Do you want the shield maiden head, or do you want the heroine head, or do you want the horseman head? And I hope the, guy, the game is loud enough that you can actually hear it. Shield maiden. Done. Okay, uh, let's go with the skin. Do you want Phaedra, Freya, or Artemis? Do you want to look like She-Hulk? A discount budget version of it? Or do you think embracing the pink is going to be true Maestro style? <laughs> Artemis, done. And then the weapon, I think we'll just match the color. Uh, let's, let's go with Artemis color as well. Okay, so packaging. We'll just stick with the packaging that I've got. Buildables, we've already selected because those are the only decent ones that I've got. Hey, Maestro, how are you doing this evening, man? So that is done. Head skin, everything done and dusted. The colors are all bent in. Actually, now that you think about it. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. Speaking about bent in. Which is the best Ben 10? Oh, hold on, Yeza. Cutscene. Hi, Pop Winnitsa. I've been dreaming of fighting by your side. I'm fresh out of the box and ready for some action. <laughs> well, when you've fought as long as I have, you come to cherish the quiet moments. Oh. <laughs> hey there, Slobby. Uh, sir? Wait a minute. Was that a slob kid? There's only one toy who can control Slobkins. I have a terrible suspicion that there's evil afoot. <laughs> Looks like you'll get your chance, soldier. Hey, Master, hope you're doing well. Sir, man, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear the whole family came down with. Shooting toys, rehabilitate them. I hope everybody's feeling better. I hope you're doing good. Hope you're feeling better. I will hope you feel better soon. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll try and fix that now. Were you at least able to hear what the dialogue was saying? I heard it. Yeah, okay, awesome. So I want to kill five of these before they actually enter the room. That's one of the challenges. I know I've got a whole bunch of them slipping past me, but I'm trying to get the five outside the room. There we go. Objective complete. So in short, this green one, that red one, and that blue one up there, that's what we're trying to protect. And we use these batteries to power them up effectively. So the green one is not powered. And the only reason we want to power them is because they provide power to um, any turrets and that kind of stuff that we put down. So right now we don't have any turrets, so we don't have to worry about it that much. And these are the upgrades. So this is an advanced laser sight. So that's how you make changes to the weapons. That is a stock. Time to put that training to use. 
Don't let the enemy destroy your hyper core. And we are looking for more batteries. We're trying to collect as much of these gold coins as we can, and we're looking for some targets. <laughs> Because if it was Duracell batteries, it means we only have to replace it once and then we're good. Ooh. I've got no idea what just happened there. Sorry about that. A nice little change of pace from the normal POE. of the collectibles i know one of the achievements there we go here's something else now we've actually got a scope nice uh yeah we can buy a stock or what do you have attachment that's going to cost me building points on the bottom right of the screen is my building points and the building points is what we're going to use to obviously provide some defenses to the cause Now we can either play this split screen or we can play this multiplayer. Uh, I feel like if they didn't make uh, new maps and add-ons, it would be over quick. That is something I'm concerned about. So I haven't made it through all the maps yet. And I do like the fact that there are multiple objectives you need to complete to come back to it. Like, for example, completing, killing these um, targets. But it is also something I am concerned about. I don't know how much replayability will actually exist for the game. Soldier, a little bit of advice. Remember to jump. Oh, and you can go third person as well. So, JJ, do you want to explain to him why I look like this? <laughs> I know a game with loads of replayability. Hmm. I wonder, what could it possibly be? <laughs> Move it! This wave is about to end soon, and I don't want any enemies remaining. Alright, so I'm looking for some more deer cell batteries. Okay, so there's shopping stuff up there. Let's see if we can't get up there. Uh, let's put up the walls up here first. I don't know why, but my chat's not scrolling with me. No comment. Nice. Oh, one of the targets, or the, one of the objectives is to turn off this um what's this gonna do okay computer's been turned off yes yeah, so i've just got a laser gun i like lasers you and me both I like butt cheeks. <laughs> well, I think every man likes butt cheeks. Uh, what's this? I just don't want this stuff. It's 
something. <laughs> what? What? Have you never heard of weapons of ass destruction? I know. Sorry, I apologize. That was a horrible fucking joke. I'll I'll see myself out. Bye. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. The stream is over. <laughs> <laughs> see myself out for that atrocity and then just a simple little feedback at the end of it how you did what you did Okay, so we did complete of some other additionals. Save the planet by turning off the computer. Destroy 10 mini-bots before they enter the room. And then there's a whole bunch of other objectives that we can do as well. Oh, nope. I'm gonna skip that cutscene. I don't want to do this, this. We're not going to do that mission again. Okay, so I've already done the first couple of missions. I think let's go to a new location, the arcade. And all we've got to do here is complete level with all high cost still operational. And yeah, so that's the that's the absolute minimum. Is don't let the high cost blow up and finish off the level. Everything else is just additionals. Well, Maestro, if you have a suggestion, by all means, let me know. Man, I'm more than happy to see if we can't play a game together. That is still something that I want to get set up, and that is the Discord. For the community so that we can go and shit post and share stuff share your rig share your setup i mean i'd love to show you guys a picture of my setup at the moment i did some extra work went and got myself some um some standing um, rgb lights around me uh obviously the upgrade to the mic the double screens everything yeah, it's looking good it's looking good discord who's that a place where we can meet and do dodgy things in. I mean, the most important thing is your gaming. That's all that's important. Okay, so let's change up the character a little bit. Type, let's go with Primal. Let's go with the little alligator. Let's grab the, the mean looking head. Let's go for the Ultra Pack. The weapon, we're going to make bright pink, because why not? And the packaging, let's go with T-Rect. And I don't think we unlocked any new ones. Oh, we actually got anti-air. Okay, that's anti-air. Anti-air, I'm not that worried about, but it might be something that we need to use. So, I think let's replace the spike trap with the anti-air. Wherever it just went. There we go. Maestro has the peak set up right next to food. You've got a point. Deja, you've got a solid point. I know the subtitles are going to be blocking a little bit of the writing, but at least you guys can hear what they say. Listen up, soldiers. There's an infestation of the local arcade. You guys have to hold it off until backup arrives. Okay. How many are there? And how do we know when they're coming? Um, just a few. It'll be mostly spinners. You'll hear a strange buzzing. If the buzz intensifies, you'll know they're close. Oh, that's very comforting to hear. Hello? Do you hear that? Just a few, eh? It's going to be pretty badass if we're actually on an air hockey table. There's an air hockey table. Let's keep this uh, we don't want table. that right now. Nah, oh, shit. Okay, I'm starting off with a shotgun. No. If they had moved, if this was movable, then that was it. That would have been peak. It would have won right there.
Wave completed. Oh fuck. Okay, so we're doing waves on this. Okay, so there's literally only one hypercore. Okay, this is gonna be my favorite playstyle. I don't like it when there's multiple. Okay, we can't touch the ground. I will die. Uh, how the hell am I supposed to? There we go. Okay, that's how we get to the other side. Uh, that's a shotgun. That's a rifle. Go with a rifle instead, and let's grab a doctor's. Okay, got. Uh, last time I played a hook at my local bowling arena, I died halfway through. So me and my friends continued playing in the hard way, then got a refund and played the adjacent table again. I can't actually, no, I lie. My wife and I actually ended up playing at an arcade not that long ago. We decided, you know what, as a little bit of a, like a day out, we can go back to our child roots and just decided, fuck it. And then we're spending quite a bit of money at an arcade just playing everything. Everything from VR. I think the shotgun was a better option. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. build around this thing no we can't so there's batteries but there's no way for us to actually build anything so this is just try and defend it as well as you can okay um like do you guys know each other on like a personal level or just like through online gaming Hypercore's taking quite a bit of a damage. Oh no, online, but it's been a while. Damn, okay. I've noticed, like, there's some people that you meet online that don't die, don't die. Fuck sakes, I died again. There's some people that you meet, on, meet online and you just, you just click. You just end up getting along for quite a couple of years. There's a couple of people that I know from my old Discord days. Like, recently we fell out of touch, but I think it was like a good solid seven, eight years that we stayed friends. You got a shotgun there's zero defenses and those things are kind of squiggly so fuck off <laughs> don't judge me and jj is very clickable i'm trying to figure out if you try to say likable or if you actually meant <laughs> he's clickable <laughs> Okay, okay, good play on words. Nice. <laughs> oh god, it feels like one of those evenings where it's gonna be dad jokes for most of the night. I expected more from you, Maestro. That was horrible. <laughs> I'm a dead. It's true, but that doesn't automatically give you an excuse. <laughs> and why does it sound like the game's sound has just died? Hold oh, on, let me hear what's going on here. What do you Sound is perfectly fine. I've earned that right. True? 
true. I mean, you were definitely involved. Um, are you guys able to hear the game? Not really. Okay. I think something happened over there. Okay, it's pretty low right now. It's just the menu music. But I think if we go to customize, there should be a change now. Admirable kill. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it should be better now. Just let me know if it gets too loud and you can't hear me over the game. And also, just let me know if you guys want me to skip these cutscenes. He spotted some alien activity. Get out of here. What kind of alien activity? UFOs. They even abducted one of our soldiers. <laughs> Uh. It's the truth. One minute he was here, the next he was gone. Are you talking about that soldier who deserted? That's a poor excuse. Oh, what is happening? Change my mind. It's a pretty good excuse. So I'm guessing I'm fighting aliens this round. Soldier, quit your whining and prepare for battle. That's a collectible. I need to get to that. What's this? Don't want the shotgun. And look, they've literally got the little green army man. Okay, so there's three hyper cores. They've got the first one up here by me. Found the second one. Boy, that's my bike. Give it back. No, good sir. It's mine. Mine for now. Thank you very much. Okay, so I found all three hyper cores. One's up here, one's up there, one's down there. Okay, now... What's this? Okay, find a collectible. Uh, what's this? Grenade launcher, don't have the money for it. I can't see any batteries. I don't actually know. I have not checked. If we've got a lull in the wave, I can always check. See if that's an option. Okay, so there's only three enemies remaining, so I'm gonna let them deal with that. This war needs people with your skills, soldier. 
What's this? Alright, so this should tell me now where the batteries are. Nope. Okay, so this is Nazco. This is some bold points. We're gonna need that. Don't know what that is. Uh, sniper attachment. It's 450. That's expensive. You know, I'm good with what I've got at the moment. Still don't know where any of the batteries are. Yeah, it's it's one of those games that I don't want to recommend it to a person just yet because I don't know how much replayability there is. Simply because it looks like there's only a certain limited number of levels. And after that, it's just repeating the same mission, trying to complete the challenges. Could be fun with friends. But this is one of those games I would definitely say only grab it if it's on sale. Oh, but just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up or something to expect in the future. Um, I am at the end of this month, so in a couple of days, I am going to be buying Helldivers 2. So that is something that we can stream as well. So what can I do? Okay, so now we've got an air turret down. Some more defenses, some goop, and some more defenses. So this one's good. You see, I never played any of the Helldivers. Uh, all I know is that Helldivers 2 used to... Sorry, Helldivers used to be top down. And it's now basically turned into a third-person shooter. So I don't have a baseline to compare it to, so I can't judge whether it is good or bad. But from what I've seen online, it seems like a pretty decent game. So you see, now that we've actually got a turret over here by the red one, I need the battery to, be able to power it. To use. Don't let the enemy destroy your yeah, If there's a first-person shooter, that's quite a bit of fun that I think you guys would enjoy. But that is very much genre-specific. Then I would suggest you both maybe have a look at Deep Rock Galactic. I don't know if you know it. I don't know if you've seen it. I don't know if you guys have watched the previous live streams that I've done on it. But that's a game that is best experienced with friends. Makes it a lot harder. And there's actually... Every single map is unique because it's procedurally generated. The missions, I think there's 10 different variants of mission that you've got to do, but it takes place in different uh, randomly um, generated maps, which makes it a shit ton of fun. That's something I'm going to continue streaming as well. I think I've done maybe two or three streams on that. Yeah, no, and sorry, I'm JJ, I missed that message of yours. Yeah, no, 100%. If the game was cheaper, it's definitely worth it. But I, at the price of what it is right now, no. Okay, so I know where another battery is. I really enjoyed the first one. They went a completely different route. Helldivers 1 gave me GTA 2 nostalgia. Yeah. I never enjoyed the original... Um, what's this? I never enjoyed the original GTAs, the top downs. Was never a fan of them. I think I only really became a, G a fan of GTA was at Vice City. Oh shit, everybody's on top. I'm fucking up. How the hell do I get up there? Yeah, we're about to lose it. I don't know how to get onto the car from here. 
Yeah, like, the first time I touched uh, GTA was San Andreas. Oh, sorry, was uh, Vice City, and that was... That was a long time ago, but I know that there were um, GTA games that came out before that. Get it together, soldiers. Only a few more enemies left. Uh, come on. Couldn't make it to those. Oh, there was a jump pad right there that takes me right to the roof. Nice. I have never seen Helldivers content over here. Uh, are you talking about the first one or the second one? Or are you talking about... Yeah, or are you being very sarcastic? Yeah, because I know every, every like, mother and their son is busy streaming um, Helldivers. And I promise that's not why I'm doing it. I'm not trying to do it just to climb onto the bandwagon. I'm actually genuinely interested in what it looks like. I think Helldivers 2 gives me the um, Starship Troopers nostalgia. Because I know there is a Starship Troopers game, a multiplayer game. That also looks like a shit ton of fun. But I don't know, I feel like just like Helldivers 2 is going to give that that nostalgia itch a better scratch than what the Starship Troopers game would. Fucking alien somewhere. Oh, yeah, well, fuck that alien. Uh, what's this? A mine launcher. Nope. That's a shotgun. And that's another laser. Oh, let's grab the laser again. shit fixed you're fixed let's put up some i don't want to be putting up barricades because i haven't seen any vehicles on the ground yet and i'm out of building points there's some building points over there got another little alien what the fuck is this an ice blaster well we're definitely trying that so it looks like the crosshair changes based on the weapon that you've got Okay, this gun's gonna irritate me. I like the health bar at the top, it's actually represented by the word mothership. Can I jump on it? Ooh, never saw. Oh shit, okay. I did not think there were so many of these things down here. Where were you? How did you miss this? <laughs> I step away from up to come back. Yeah. Like, you know, that's how it works. You go from army men to robots to aliens. That's a natural progression.
but I am. There's a lot of damage currently happening to the cores as well. Tentacle monster touched me. I got violated. No. Do not tell me the boss is starting again. Oh no, this is the boss boss. Soldiers, this boss is nearly toast. Okay, that was a lot easier than anything else. You've been violated. The new ITTV TV show. <laughs> I see Mr. Maestro has abandoned us. Shameful. Shameful, shameful, shameful. So the next map, oh, because we've actually unlocked a few in-betweens. I don't know how we unlocked the ones we didn't get already. So the next one seems to be some kind of attic. So we're going to be fighting robots, spinners, some hovercraft things, some more aliens, a big juggernaut looking bitch, and then Franken's bitch. But I think, well, that's quickly busy. Maestro followed you. Thank you very much, Maestro. I really appreciate it. I got the follow on uh, Twitter. Now, Maestro, do yourself a favor. Um, <laughs> go have a look at the people that follow me and have a look how many of them are artists. <laughs> now I'm not days behind. I'm having a look on Twitter. I only just got the notification that he followed me now. But if you actually have a look at the amount of people following me on um, Twitter, uh, X, it is 34, right? I think 32 of those followers are all artists trying to promote their work. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm glad I was the afterthought. <laughs> Uh, okay, so next one we're going on to the attic. So, it looks like there are 14 maps in total. Now, I don't know if this game has a store page. So, a workshop where you can actually download additional maps or, like, get mods for the game. I haven't actually checked. That's something I'll have to have a look at later on. If there is a workshop that has actually allowed content creators to add their own maps, add their own mods for example it might make the replayability of the game a lot better but right now i can't imagine that once you're through the 14 um main campaign st um, missions it might be a little bit boring but however let's have a look here quickly so we have got obviously the different difficulty levels i'm just playing on regular at the moment um i think there was also a different game mode Single player, no. Back. So we've got free roam. So we've got the tour and then versus. Fight against other players in this player versus player mode. So there's the tutorial, the adventure, and then the versus. The adventure is just the campaign free loan. And then free roam is the baby bitch mode. Well, the Steam Workshop, if it's done correctly and there's actually support for it, 
if the game actually allows modding, it can work well. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. Um, have either of you played Risk of Rain? Risk of Rain 2 specifically. Not the recent remaster of the original Risk of Rain, but Risk of Rain 2. Oh my god, okay, that is definitely a game that I have to bring to the stream. That is a game where the maps are pretty straightforward. It doesn't end until you die. It is constant, and the upgrades vary every single time. There's mods that you can download to make it a little bit easier. But, okay, Risk of Rain 2 is this absolute bullet storm, bullet hell, fuck everything and its mum. Just insane shooter. It's actually a shit ton of fun. I think that's definitely something we need to bring to the stream. I ain't the best in it. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so have I unlocked any new Builder Bills? Because I keep skipping the, the stuff. So we have got the Machine Gun Turret. Nice. Machine Gun Turret replaces the Air Turret. The Firebox gets replaced by the Rocket Turret. And Normal Defenses. Customize. What's new? Type. And we have I'm now got Cyber Fury. And ready for action. We've got no skins for him. Let's just grab the Apprentice. Uh, packaging will go Pepperoni with Neon. All the rules are good. Done. Let's start this round. Another cutscene. Well, story. Man, I'm so bored with this attic. Why does Max Ammo send us these grimy outposts anyways? This place will never be attacked. But we can never be too careful. You never know what's lurking around the corner. Oh, you're just saying that because you're scared of the dark. I'll go patrol sector B. All right for me! Why is the hypercore damaged? Did you hit it during target practice? Do you really think I'd be up here by myself? I've never fired a single shop here. Okay, we are officially in the attic. The enemy might be waiting to surprise us. Why have I got a ring? Okay, and we've got a D&D &D die. Kind of monster would create something uh, like let's this. grab this. Let's put it into the blue one straight away. I think now we're actually going to be able to try and test out the turrets a bit. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think this one needs a battery. There's another battery. Holy shit, the defenses are beyond shit. Okay, let's not fall down there. How is blue still taking damage? There's nothing at blue. Oh my god, really? You couldn't deal with that one little thing? Up. That was remarkable, soldier. All right, so first things first. Uh, 
Machine gun turret. Load one. Load two. Load three. Okay, you should be a lot safer now. Let's quickly move on. I don't think I can build anymore, but let's at least build some defenses. Okay, so the blue one should be self-protected. The green one we've got and the red one is right there. So I'll jump between the green and the red. I just want to go check and see how the red one's actually holding up, how well these parrots are doing. Um, hello? I don't know if put a battery inside you. Like, am I missing something? I know I put a battery in there. But I did something, and I died. Is about to be destroyed. Yeah, what about the spinners? Right? Oh my god, I remember that. That's a, what was the phrase that was it? What? Go, Let him go, rip. Go, what, 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 what is it? Pretty impressive considering what a small toy you are. Definitely want this gun. Jesus, they don't give you a lot of time to actually prep. Okay, I'm gonna take this to the blue side and hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully that means the blue one is gonna have power. Oh god. Rug off, rug off, rug off. Thank you. Okay, this one should be good, the turrets are working. He's like a Beyblade. Okay, we've lost the green one. Ain't gonna get the best score in this round. No, you're shitting me. Does this thing get damaged and they end up taking the battery out? Okay, that's shitty. Okay, so it looks like the, the turrets actually suck ass. So what I'm doing is putting up some defenses around it. Hopefully that's enough. Come on, I need to be able to get you so I can put defenses down because you can only build within the time allotted. Okay, we've got some defenses. This is a lot more intense than what I thought it would be. Oh, 
part of that tree. The red one is about to die. And the blue one's busy seeing it's awesome. I haven't even been paying attention to what the actual missions are. I think this might be one of those games that excels as a multiplayer card game. Is down here. What does it remind you of? This something reminds me of Guns of Icarus, which is a really fun game with friends. I don't actually know that. It doesn't ring a bell at all. I don't think I've ever played that. Is it a new game, old game? Oh my gosh. Uh, I think there's a possibility I'm gonna lose this round. Oh. Um, he fucked my shit up. Okay. is but oh it's the fast machine gun okay the enemy is destroying your defenses do not forget to rebuild them okay so we've got the problem of we have already lost two of the cores and this core is pretty close to being dead I died. That was just like a last little ditch effort to try and get it, and we lost. So, uh, typically you have one captain who flies the airship, one gunner who specializes in getting as much damage onto enemies as possible, and two engineers who run around the repair the ship. Except the name of the game was called Guns of Icarus. So look here. Guns of Icarus. Hold on, I remember seeing this game. I remember quite a couple of people playing this. It's not that old. Okay, never mind, it's 10 years old. God damn, where's time gone? It's got a 9.10 rating out of Steam. And this was also multiplayer, right? And you were fighting against other people that were crewing ships as well. You see, I've never... <clears throat> How can I say this in a very, very nice, nice way? I've never liked games where I've had to rely on other people in order to enjoy the game while playing games with your friends and co-op games and multiplayer games while they are fun. It also limits you to the point where you can only play if you have got friends or people available to be able to play with you 
I mean, you might have friends, but they might not all be in the mood for the game at that point. I mean, then you've got some games where it's just massive um, rooms, like a game that I used to play called Squad. Absolutely used to love playing it because I didn't have to rely on anybody else because there were obviously players already online, but it required a lot of teamwork. So games like um, Sea of Thieves, like this, Guns of Icarus and that kind of, that kind of stuff, it's, it's fun, but there's no way for me to enjoy it on my own. Now, the nice thing with Helldivers 2 is one of the things that I looked at is you can play the game completely solo. It is meant to be played co-op or with friends, but you can play it completely solo, which is what I'm going to be trying to do. The same with the Deep Rock Galactic game. Deep Rock Galactic is best experienced and is the most fun when you've got a team of four because you've got four specific roles. The gunner, the engineer, the scout, and the driller. The team works well if every role is filled. However, you you tend to run into a lot more trouble when you're playing solo. But it's still doable. Yeah, handed another team and that's hoping that the team is competent. And then there's no real way of communication because I don't think VoIP was a thing in 2012. I mean, what, that's like a year or two years after Skyrim came out? I don't think VoIP was really a thing, so I think you have to rely very much on a person being in a Discord. Oh my god, I remember the good old days of lands. Clearing the toy store wasn't easy. Cinematic. We still have to make sure there are no potential threats left in this place. Well, I guess somebody must have been altering these over here ages ago. <laughs> Bingo. Well, well. There ain't nothing many about this gun. Sir? Step aside. Cool, we're not done here yet. Something big is coming. That's a phase on which we're mentioning now, Maestro. I remember Friday afternoons after school, like going home, picking up your computer. Like, and then it was like Windows 95, Windows 98 shit. Um, going home, picking up your computer, and then you at the friend's house for the weekend. And you would be playing like early Call of Duties or like Wolfenstein or some of the early uh, like Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, Far Cry 2. Did they just say flying ponies? They said flying ponies. It's legit a flying pony. Yeah, park right too. You see, where I was when I was younger, they, we had land centers where you would go and obviously um, land with friends, but it was expensive for me as a kid. Like, really expensive. And I mean, the shitty computer that I was using could barely run anything, but it was just enough to be able to make it viable to be able to go and play with friends and shit like that. Yeah, no, that shit did not exist when we were younger. Oh, when I was younger. Free did not exist.
Hey, I got the pony. That was a little bit fucking gruesome the way it just landed on the ground and just... Okay. One enemy. Another fucking pony. We still got JJ in the chat. <laughs> Fucked up that pony. Okay. Um, this one's got power, so I think we need a machine gun. And we need a rocket turret. And then now we just need some walls. Yeah, that's it. I'm broke. Hmm. Do I want to keep using this or do I want something else? That's a double machine gun. That's a machine gun. It's a shotgun. Let's go with a double machine gun. I don't have the cash. Fuck. Shit, so the battery actually fucking drains. That's bullshit. Okay, I did not know that that's how it works. I thought once you put the battery in, the battery is good. and everything can deal with that i need a better gun i need some sustained damage this reloading is killing me so i think let's go how do i not have the cash i thought i was good on cash fuck it now i should have the cash for it uh, let's go double machine gun yeah i think that's gonna do better for me Protecting. So the blue one is up here, but we haven't really done much to protect it. But it's still pretty safe where it's at. I just need a... Okay, there's a battery on that side. Let's re-slot that. Okay, I don't have enough for a turret, so maybe next round we can solve that issue. And there's obviously a green one up there. Wait, didn't I switch? Um, excuse me? Oh, fuck me, I can actually switch it out. Well, damn, okay. Now nah, there's tanks, really? Now nah, there's fucking tanks.
Okay, I've got a new problem. The one that actually had something protecting it is out of juice. I need badges. My shit's getting fucked up. Like, it's getting fucked up real quick. What if you're the bad guy? I would not be surprised. And Green is taking a fucking beating. Oh my god, that was crazy. Quick! Hyper core is nearly wasted! Oh, cool, didn't clutch. Okay. Just just as able to save that thing. And that's it. And we've got another laser. Okay, let's actually put up some defenses here by this one. Okay, that's better. We've got some health. With games like this, you always ask yourself, am I the bad guy? Because you actually end up doing more killing than what anybody else really does. Like, even if you take a game as simple as Call of Duty. Like, the amount of people that they show, like, the bad guys kill versus how many you kill, um, yeah. I have, oh, oh, okay, okay, never mind, I was about to lie to you and say, I haven't actually died that much. I think I've died twice in this round. But they had tanks this time. I'm about to die, you jinxed it. <laughs> this is definitely one of those games where the AI is competent, but you can definitely tell that if you had the right support, things would be a lot easier. I mean, it's not like I exactly like made it difficult for myself. I mean, this is really difficult. I did no such thing. Just a mind reader. Yeah, you're probably not wrong. I mean, you just picked up on the trend that I'm just a person that loves games. I'm not a gamer. <laughs> Ooh, flamethrower. Is that a minigun? I've got a minigun. It's probably shit, but I've got a minigun. Shit's about to either get really intense or... This is gonna suck. One of the two. Okay, that's looking good. That's looking good. I think we're good to go. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna, I ain't gonna shoot shit. I'm gonna miss just about everything.
Oh, that recoil is insane. <laughs> Run. I promise I'm not trying to move the camera around as much as I can to am. The recoil on this thing is insane. Oh, fuck off. Your defenses are being destroyed. Ow, 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 being ow. How the hell am I supposed to kill this thing? Rip defenses. Yeah, no. All the defenses just got fucked. Why is a game like this so difficult? Isn't this supposed to be a cute little shooter? Gear forward! Find the last few enemies! Big boys dude. Nice. I actually fucking beat that level. I did not think that was gonna be possible. I actually wanna see some of the stats about this one. So we've unlocked some new areas. We've unlocked a new skin for the character that I'm currently using. Ooh, nice camo, globby. The dune. And fire trap plus. Okay. Okay, so just a prefix. Gold. Okay. Critical frags, me, power giver, me, longest hang time, Fedra, worst accuracy was Fedra, hey, <laughs> least I ain't the shittest, most deaths was Dojo. So I died four times, accuracy 38%, that shit. Worst action. <laughs> I mean, I've got 38% accuracy, so I mean, it's not horrible. Okay, no, it's shit. It's actually shit. So how are we enjoying the stream? Is it a nice change of price from Path of Exile or Maestro? Are you completely out of your element right now? I'm glad you're enjoying it, JJ. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. So we literally did the absolute bare minimum for this mission, and that was complete the level with all hypercores still operational. The bare minimum is what we did. Alright, so now we've got a couple of other places, but I'm guessing as we progress down this tree a little bit further, it's gonna get harder and harder. So let's let's go outside a bit. Let's go experience some sunlight. So, by the looks of it here in the top right, we are potentially going to be fighting a T-Rex. 
and some bulbasaur looking motherfucker. Not bulbasaur. It was Squirtle. I mean, what did Squirtle evolve into? The big thing with the cannons on the back. Blastoid? Last one here. Yes, I got it right. Now oh, we'll see if we can find some dinosaurs. So what do we get? Guys, we got a new skin for this dude. Nice. Got weapon. We got the dune. Bold bulls. I'm not liking the turrets. A hopback on POV clearing a T12 map on the seismic trap character who is level 72 with the area 79 and I have no issues whatsoever. Well, damn. I really want to try that seismic trap um, character that you built. It looks like a shit ton of fun. Yeah, the playstyle is very much different because it's not that instant damage. There is a delay to it. And you can almost see how the first initial damage that it does is minimal. And then it just stacks straight after it. But I really want to try that seismic. I think that might be one to do after we've at least taken um, Power Siphon through the acts. And at least made it to a T16 map. Maybe maybe not T16. Maybe try to get it comfortably through T8, T9, T10s. Yeah, that's the nice part. You just watch everything else die around you. The only problem is it's that that second or two that you've got to survive while the traps kick in. Oh, coming back to this. So the buildable slots, the the turrets. I'm not a fan of it because the batteries aren't permanent. I thought honestly that once you put a battery into the terminal, it powers the station. And that the turrets would just remain pow powered. I would understand if the power, if the turrets got damaged, you had to either repair them or replace them. Granted, but the fact that they can actually lose power sucks. So I think instead, I am just gonna go back to the fire trap because the fire trap uses no power and it's level two, so it's an upgrade from what I had. And I think I'm just gonna replace this with the spikes, and then rather just upgrade these as I go. I know this area looked the back of me hand, but I can't see anything. Me neither. I can't see sh Let's go radio silent, soldiers. I feel danger is near. Guys, I see something. Ah, oh, yes. I knew it. Finally, there's an exit. This is not an exit. This is a gate. This was a trap! Fall in! Ice front! It reminds me of Toy Story with these little green soldiers. Um, I just want to pause over there quick because I want to uh, quickly ask you guys' opinion on something. So, the, lo the last couple of games that we've been playing has obviously been a lot more high-paced, a lot more action. Um, obviously, this is a lot of shooting. PoE is PoE. We all know it. We all love it. It's just a idea would you guys like to see me do other games that are a bit more of a slower pace that have got more of a survival element to it that has got more of a story that unfolds over time or would you like me to stick to the more fast paced stuff with this actually entertainment and action 24 7.
don't mind either. Okay. Because I was thinking of like, like Pal World or Enshrouded, or if you want to go to like an older game like Ark. Yeah, you see, that's the problem when it comes to uh, games that have got a survival element to it, is that there are certain actions that become repetitive. The farming, the grinding. No, I can understand. I mean, this is the same thing over and over, which does make it a little bit boring-ish, especially because you're not playing, you don't have friends playing, there's no shit talking happening. But... Yeah, I think this one was more so just to touch base on it. What we can always do is we can do one or two rounds of this. Um, I'm probably only going to be streaming for about like another hour. Um, but yeah, and shout it looks looks like it could be really awesome though. So, I mean, that's always an option. We can always switch over to other games. We can always change it up. I just need recommendations from you guys. Otherwise, I'm going to play whatever scratches an itch. Okay, so I've been given a whole bunch of... Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of weapon upgrades here, and I'm in a... I'm in a circle. No way this ends badly, right? Oh my... Um... I'm dead. No worries, Master. I know you ain't feeling too good. I mean, if you ain't feeling too good, by all means, we'll get some rest. I hope we feel better in the morning. Thank you very much for coming to the stream. I really appreciate it. I was only expecting you to show up a little bit later due to work, but having you here is always a pleasure. Tore me apart. No, run. How am I supposed to fight that? <laughs> I've got no way to go. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Deja, you wanted all the deaths? There you go. All the deaths you can get. Oh, and they killed it, and I wasn't even there. That was a very, very quick round. JJ, have you followed me on on Twitter? Silver award. So no deaths is platinum, three deaths is gold, six deaths is silver, and seven deaths is copper. The question was, did you follow me on Twitter? X. Shameful, 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 shameful. I'm joking, man. I'm really, really joking. It's 100% up to you. But I do appreciate the love that you've been showing the last couple of nights being here. Nothing is unobtainable to the... I could do better. You see, with me by your side. I'm going to skip this one. The first priority 
is protecting the hypercores. The second one is figuring out who blocked the toilet. Uh, one more site. So before we start the round, I need a submachine gun attachment. That works perfect. Now we can start the round. Okay, so they've all got power. Okay, he's just missing power. So I kind of agree with um, Maestro at this point that I can understand how this is getting repetitive and how this is becoming the same thing over and over. So it's fun, but it's not, it's not everlasting fun that you can just enjoy. And that's maybe why this game fell off the road or something. I remember when this game came out, there was a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of love and hype around it. But I do understand why it's falling off, because... Yeah, it falls off very quickly. know that one of the achievements on here is to flush the toilet. Thank you. Finally someone who understands me. Let's take this. Yep. Okay, so now they're gonna start coming out of this vent as well. Oh, I forgot how I get up there. One more enemy left. Wow. Great job, soldier.
Okay, now we've got some actual defenses up here. I don't have to worry too much about the defenses inside there. Uh, some building supplies there. Well, that one got cooked, which is nice. I think it's working. Want the dogs everything over. That would actually be badass. It would have to be a defense that's like locked behind like a platinum achievement, like defeat every single map um, without taking any damage to the core, for example. But once you get it, it's like that you just put the cat down and just everything. <laughs> or the final boss of the game is like a kid's mom coming in telling the kid to like clean up all the toys. <laughs> and locked behind a paywall. Yeah. Everything is locked behind a paywall nowadays. I would not be surprised if they put a microtransaction on a final boss. Wait, hasn't there been a developer that's already done that once? Where there was... I won't, I won't say it was locked behind a paywall. But like a good portion of the game was part of the DLC that you had to pay an additional price for. Like to understand the true ending was locked behind a, a DLC. I'm almost 100% sure that a developer's already done that. I might just need to check my facts, but I think I'm right. How the hell would I get up there? I see a purple gun. Oh, 50 cal sniper. Boy, nice. Big toy. Oh, damn. That thing's actually doing quite a bit of damage and slowing you shit down. So we're gonna go for the eye when he's I just shot him in the dick. Open your face. Open your face. Need the laser gun back. I really do, but I can't find the laser gun on this mission.
Ooh, that was good damage. That was good damage. I really wanted to do that without dying. That's bullshit. I can die right before the end. God damn it. Got the gold award. JJ, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it, man. And no, I'm not talking about it on Twitch. I'm talking about it on tw uh, Twitter. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. So, as we're covering the topic of games potentially to play, is there anything that you would suggest from your side? Something that you would like to see me play? Or something that you would like to be a part of? I'm going to test it here and I'm going to see if I can bullshit Twitch. I'm going to open up lots of Twitches and see if every single one of them counts as a viewer. Can't think of anything on the top of your head. Okay, I've got every single one of the Twitch open. I've opened up like six tabs. Let's see if it eventually updates. Well, if you do think of something, you can either tweet it at me or you can send me a whisper at me. But I think throughout the course of tomorrow after work, before I live stream, um, after work, of course, I think I'm going to go ahead and create a Discord channel. Just something basic for the time being, so that we can have a central place for community to start gathering. What do you think? soldier scour the battlefield for weapons and credits don't forget to build defenses and keep empowered okay so just make sure i know where the hell everything is so we've got the blue core here the red core there and the green core up there because so everything is relatively close by to one another and it should be easily defendable i just want to check something Okay, so it doesn't look like you can bullshit Twitch. <laughs> Let me go ahead and close all the screens. I don't know if you were here when I explained to Maestro that once you actually followed me to actually go have a look at my um, followers and you'll see that about a good 90% of my followers are artists. I literally got, just got followed by another one and in their name it literally says commission open. <laughs> like I get it, everybody's trying to grow and get the name out there and that kind of stuff but come on. I would have expected maybe four, maybe five artists that do it, but not basically all 30 of my followers. But alas.
I'm a Ben Hammer kind of guy in a fair few streams and I love to kick people. You see, I don't have to worry about that yet because I'm not at the point yet where there's enough people to want to kick them. But definitely, if the channel does end up growing, I will definitely need moderators and that kind of stuff. Like I already told um, Maestro that when I've got this the capability to be able to have VIPs, he will definitely be amongst like the first VIPs that I get because I mean he was there for me from day one. The enemy is deploying their elite operatives. Don't get cocky now. He's been there for me like day one. He's joined on every single stream. He supported me every single step of the way. So. Nah, definitely if I get to the point where I can have VIPs, he's going to be like, first on the list. Yeah, I do. I did see in a lot of, in a lot of the settings that I um, set up for like the um, Twitch moderation, there was a lot of settings that I could set on certain things to ban, certain things to set up, etc, etc. So I can imagine it's easier, but I also imagine that it is still going to be something that I need later on is a decent base that can um, actually provide moderation for me you see that's the thing I don't know what to look for within certain phrases so that might be something that I need to clue myself up on with multiple choppers inbound don't worry soldier your air defenses will obliterate them uh, you have uh, uh, built uh, uh, air defenses, uh, right? Okay, yeah, let's helicopter down. I mean, that's, sorry, just touching base on what I was saying early on, it's, it's going to be a base like that as well. Um, the people who showed love and support early on, who have been in the streams, who have been here, yeah, who's kept me company, who has helped grow the, the, the channel, I mean, obviously those are people that are going to get, those are the people that I'm going to lean on for moderation, those are the people that I'm going to ensure of the VIPs, etc. That only makes sense. It's a way to give back to the support that you guys have given me. Green ones back there. Exactly. I, I couldn't agree with you more. It's it's the way to go Soldiers, about it. Soldiers, make them wish they never came out of their box. End them. And like, I always feel bad because I'm new to the whole streaming thing. I always feel like bad to ask the people that are supporting me to like use their own platforms, their own social media, their own connections, and that kind of stuff to try and help spread the word, to help grow the channel. Yeah, I, the people that I know IRL don't really have Twitch, don't really do Twitch. They just game because it's fun. So I'm mostly going to rely on the connections and the relations that I build while doing this. And it's very easy to see who's trying to get... Um, who's just trying to get power versus who actually gives a damn. Who actually cares about whether you're platform ends up being a success or not. And the easiest way that I've noted is to gauge and how to gauge that is to have a look what a person does for. Like for example, you and Maestro, you guys haven't followed me or um, been in the streams because you're being forced to. You've decided to be out of your own village. If you enjoy the stream, you enjoy the stream. You're not doing it to get something out of it. Whatever comes is just the cherry on top, but that's not why you're here originally. And that I can appreciate and respect, and those are the kind of people that I want around. Those are the kind of people that I want to lean on for support. I also know that there's a point at which I'm gonna have to start doing a lot of self-marketing. 
Um, like, I do uh, post on uh, Twitter quite a lot, as you might have noticed. I do post on Twitter, Twitter quite a lot. I post all of my videos to um, YouTube as well. I think it's now just more so a case I need to start going into other people's streams and that kind of stuff and seeing if it's possible for me to promote myself there as well. I got a plasma cannon, bro. Oh, that motherfucker got vaporized. No, 100%. Like, I, it's gonna have to find the right way of going about and doing it. And I suppose later on, I will also start reaching out to the to the community to the people that have followed me and see if there isn't a way that i can ask them to help me spread the word a bit these are the newest sentient ai units in major evil's arsenal beware the robot is incredibly strong fast and merciless at close range What we can do. This is the defense core. Okay, do we have another one? I know the stream has divulged into more about a plan of action for the future and how we're looking at growing, expanding and getting more viewers in and that kind of stuff but i mean that is the ultimate goal i mean while i enjoy entertaining you and maestro it would be nice to have a community where there's more people engaging talking giving their input and please if you have any critique for me please let me know the only way i'm gonna get better is by listening to the people who are able to tell me if i'm doing something wrong or doing something right I mean, I've only been streaming for, what, 30 days? Let's, let's say a month. I've only been streaming for a month, so I don't think I'm doing bad based on how long I've been streaming. I know that with time, more comes, but until that happens, continuous improvement. Exactly. My accuracy on this was at 64%. Not bad. With 650 shots fired total. I think we are going to do one more and then i think that would be a good place to end it for the evening because i know that this is not something that a person wants to watch forever it does become anonymous it does get boring after a while but i mean a two hour stream on a game like this this ain't bad and then tomorrow night we can either return to path of exile or if you have any suggestions you can let me know been a fun change no for sure and that's just it it's it's, it's you gotta have that that change up every now and then like my youtube channel and my twitch currently exists solely of both of excel like that's been the main focus that's the game that i enjoy playing the most but i am going to start branching out to other games as well but i do want to be cautious that whenever i do the branch out i don't end up losing the follower base that i do have so i'm going to try and stay true to the path of exile as much as i can with other streams intermixed so i was thinking something like monday wednesday and friday 
and Saturday we do both of XL. Tuesday, Thursdays, and Sundays we do something else. If I don't take a break. You don't have enough credits to build defenses, so start searching for some. I think I'm gonna find any more money, so for now. Wait, can I gamble? Can I gamble? Oh shit, I was actually not good for my gun. Oh, that's nice. Is good. Complete your objective, soldiers. The wave is ours. A nice little pump out. This needs to get. Oh, that's a problem, but I don't have enough cash for that. Uh, where's some coins? And I also need to think very carefully about what gun I'm gonna use because at the end of this mission, I know there's a cargo plane that flies over. Focus. I'm focusing. Some defenses down up here. Let's get the rest of this set up. Got some fire. Okay, we're good to go. Oh, that's still not enough. Mm, some holding supplies right there. Second, right there. It's fucking tanks now. When you think they can't stoop any lower, they deploy army men to do their dirty work. Just to build a Spitfire with FX and you'll win easy. Tanks on this side done, they can deal with people. I need to go and worry about this.
I just pimp the tank. Soldiers, you're about to become someone's new worst. The punch is a tank. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Don't judge it if it works. <laughs> Okay, we've got a spit roast going around the blue, so we're good to go. And try and find some build points. Okay, I think he found some build points, so he's gonna build what we need on that. And that's just AR bots, by the way. I can't clip. Why can't you clip? I didn't make it so that you. Hold up, we need to sort that out right now. Why can't you clip? Uh, create the dashboard. Let's go to settings, stream, moderation, chat delay, nope, chat verification, chat rules, unban. Where would that be? Uh, that's the channel, that's the stream. Enable clipping. Yeah, enable the creation of clips from your stream or past podcast. It should be open. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had it on one week. I had it so that you had to follow me for a minimum of one week before you could create any clips. Okay, so I've changed it to 30 minutes, so you should be able to create the clip now. <laughs> Okay, so we fixed that. I'm guessing it was too much of a delay, so you can't clip it anymore. <laughs> Now, the only problem is, I don't know if that 30 minute timer has reset on everybody or if it will automatically account for people like yourself that have been here for a while. Okay, awesome. So it works. Nice. Let's wait for the next tank to show up, but I promise I'll punch it again just for you. <laughs> Okay, so I just want to spend a whole bunch of cash just putting in some blockades. Okay, we've basically turned this into Normandy Beach. Let's go see if there isn't some more shit I can put down somewhere. Yeah, so if you have platforms or if you have places where you can share um, the channel, I'd really appreciate that. But there's no obligation to. Just want to make that 100% clear. <laughs> Normandy 2.0, 100%. And look what I found. Lasers. I think I'm hearing some tanks. <laughs> I 
Okay, I found a tank. I'll punch it just for you. <laughs> Done. Okay, now we just gotta keep an eye on the cargo plane. That's pretty cool though, they're just dropping the army man. Well, this round went a lot better than the previous one, the first time I did this. I don't think we ever finished off the... Did we ever finish off the cargo plane? Oh, we did. I did not even realize it. I hope you got the clip that you wanted. <laughs> got the platinum mode. Nice. Okay, so we're slowly but surely working our way through and getting the platinums that we need. Uh, let's just go back to the main campaign. So, platinum, 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 and then the gold was the the a hockey table. I think that one's going to take a bit. If you get platinum on that, that might be something that's a little bit easier to do if I've actually got more people. I don't see why I can't get platinum on the garage. Just the last alien might be a little bit more of a harder fight, but it is still possible. However, I actually think that's why I'm going to call it a night. I've been going for about 2 hours and 15 minutes. There's not much more to the game than what you've seen right now. It is a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. However, this is a game that is, one, going to be better enjoyed with friends. And you also have to understand that it has only got a finite amount of enjoyment that you're going to get out of it. I am not 100% sure if it's got a workshop. I will need to check and have a look. But if it's got a workshop and if there are more maps that you can download and there are mods that you can add to actually change up the playstyle or add new things, that could add extra content to it. But I don't feel like you're going to get the most enjoyment out of it because it does become very repetitive. Being solely a tower defense game is fun, but if it's only tower defense constantly, it does make it a bit watered down. If there was something else, now I know everybody hates an escort mission, but if you, for example, were on a little train set, and you had to stay on the train set all the way through the bedroom or something like that, defending the train. That could be cool. Use the environment a little bit better to change it up just so that it's not only tower defense. But it's still enjoyable. And I still feel like if you play this with French, you get quite a bit of laughs and quite a bit of uh, enjoyment out of this. But yeah, so I don't think 
there's a possibility that I'm going to stream this game in the future. I think the only time I'll come back to this and stream it in the future is if I actually got a couple of friends, maybe JJ, maybe Maestro, maybe I'll grab a couple other people, and we actually play together. See how far we can get, see if we can platinum every single map. But yeah, I think that's where it was. Well, I'm going to leave it for the evening. Thank you very much for joining the stream, everybody. For those of you that don't know, all of my past live streams do get placed onto my YouTube. So go show some love over there. Go subscribe. Go turn on your notifications. And also try and spread the word of this community. Let's try and get the channel to grow a little bit. Not only the YouTube channel, but also the Twitch channel. I really would appreciate it. It would mean a lot to me. And the more viewers we've got in here, the better content I can create for you. If you have any feedback, please let me know. I welcome your critiques because your critiques allow me to grow. But until tomorrow evening where we move on to something else, I hope you have a lovely day and or night depending on where you're from. Look after yourselves. Be safe. And I'll see you next time. And JJ, I hope you have a lovely evening further, my man. Look after yourself and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, everyone.